Hey, what up, John? Same Billy here. Soul Brothers, thanks for tuning in. Uh, compiled a little list for you guys. Top traction out right now for hoop shoes. They've been killing it. Yeah, they've been killing it. They've and it's a very it. important category. Yes. Maybe the most important to us. Um, if you're not biting on the court, it can actually even be dangerous um, and affect your play. You know what I mean? You definitely want a good bite. Hooping. Yes. Uh, so we got about 12 shoes. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of good. That's good. Yeah. Good for the companies. Please make, keep making good tractions. You know what I'm saying? If you guys want to cop any of these shoes, we'll leave links below. But let's get it start off with the Anti KT4. Or the low. Or the low. Yeah. I feel like the low is a little bit better as right. well. Even on dust. This is overall better, best traction. Um, they all have really good bites on, on the clean court. Dust, they're all really good as well. Yeah. Uh, the KT4 also is very durable. So you should be able to play with it outdoors because in the in the tech spec it says that it is made for like extra durable rubber or something like that. So yeah, you should be very very good to go in the KT4s. Mm -hmm. All right, next shoe you guys already know is the LeBron 16. Uh, can't wait for the LeBron 17, but the 16 is tried and true. Uh, yep. Does need a break in just a little bit, but once you do, crazy hard bite, no dust pickup, also very durable, yes. deep grooves as well. So you should be good to go in the LeBron 16s. All right, next shoe is the Nike Kyrie 5. And the Kyrie 5 is very unique because it has a, an outsole curvature. And I guess we'll kind of like put the Flytrap 2 in there as well. Uh, solid traction on a clean core. Dust, not a problem. You uh, barely have to wipe. And it, if, even if it does pick up dust, it's just a slight wipe. I feel like the flight trap too is a little bit better on dust though. Mm. And, and also I guess durability wise it's a little bit better than Kyrie 5. So. Yeah. And the 5s uh, did take a little bit to break in though. Yeah, the Kyrie 5s. Yeah, definitely. I forgot about that. Yeah, the Kyrie 5 takes a long time to break in. Um, and also there's some colorways for me that just never broke in. That just never got good. So my Black Magic color was really good. My uh, Taco color just never broke in. So I don't know what it is. But anyways, next shoe is a CP3.12. Yeah, crazy bite, stupid squeaky. Very minimal dust pickup. Um, awesome to see from a very, very cheap shoe around like, what was it, $100? 100 bucks. Crazy. Premium shoe too. That shoe's a banger and traction's nuts on that. Yeah, and also very durable yeah. too. So you can definitely play with those outdoors. All right, next shoe is a Curry 6. Um, besides disregarding the durability issue, that traction is insane. Yeah. Very, very nice. Solid bite. Very minimal dust pickup. Uh, durability obviously is not very good um, and also just like even if it doesn't if even if the outsole doesn't peel off I feel like the durability wouldn't be good anyway because it does fray and stuff like that and it's more on the softer side for the rubbers so uh, durability not very good but clean court and dusty court very very good yeah, more of an indoor option yes all right next shoe is the all-star pro BB and uh, yeah same thing uh, I feel like durability is very good because the rubber is hard but the it's not very deep yeah so it's a I, weird traction pattern yeah it's a weird traction pattern as well so uh, i'm not 100 percent sure but i feel like it should be good on uh, outdoor courts again uh, we don't really play outdoors that much we're just speculating from how hard the rubber is and uh if there's any frame from just indoor use you know uh, but clean court super good it does pick up a little bit more dust than all uh, than the rest of these shoes so I'd be wary on that, but other than that, if you do a slight wipe, you should be good to go. Mm -hmm. All right, next shoe is a Curry 303. I feel like it's a dual density rubber. It uses a herringbone traction pattern throughout the entire outsole, and uh, there's no squeak. squeak. There's silent. Yeah, very, very silent. There's no squeak. Ninja uh, chase down block. Exactly. That's how you do it. But oh. it's still a solid bite. And it's a pretty durable rubber, right? Yes, exactly. And does pick up really minimal. So you should be good to go in those. Uh, uh, but like the bite isn't as good as some of these, you know, right. especially on the clean court. It's, but it's still good, you know. All right, next shoe is the Leaning Sonic 7. Ooh. And so it's like the weirdest looking pattern, outsole pattern that we've ever seen. It's just flat. Yeah. So uh, obviously there's really no like movement in the rubber or anything like that. And you would think that it would suck, but the rubber compound is actually really good. And so on a clean court, you have very very hard bite uh, dust really it really doesn't pick up dust but if it does you just do a slight wipe and you're good to go and durability should be good because the rubber is very hard mm -hmm. all right next shoe is the pg3 you guys already know it's, it's probably gonna be uh, on the goats list yeah it's it, up there i mean yeah. for outdoor use not the best option um kind of soft rubber but the grooves are fairly deep we have had, we have had some fraying in that shoe in the forefoot 
but just I don't I've never wiped a shoe. No. Zero dust, crazy, crazy bite. Yes. Good amount of squeak. Next shoe is Donny Boy Series shoe of all time. Ooh. Air Monarch. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes. No, I mean, those are amazing too, but... Yeah, those are the goats. Uh, you're talking about the Precisions? Yep. Ooh. Yep. Cheapest shoe on the list? Is I'm it? pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By $10. Uh, by $10 and crazy traction. Um, it's really nice to see from a cheap, cheap shoe like that. So a great outdoor option. Um, even if it is not the most durable, it's so cheap. Uh, but it is fairly a, a fairly durable outsole. Crazy squeak. Great bite. Um, really minimal dust pickup too on indoor courts. Yeah, I feel like uh, this next shoe is probably one of the best traction on this list. What's and that? It's the uh, Zoom Heritage. Oh yeah. Is it? Nuts. <laughs> I mean, just violent, epic traction. I mean, crazy, crazy squeaky, but um, not so squeaky where a lot of times the shoe's like so like high pitch squeaky, you know, mm -hmm. where they kind of give a little bit. These don't give, um, they don't forget, there's no remorse, you're going to stop on uh, whatever you want to stop and they're geared for outdoor use um, and the rubber is super super durable so it doesn't matter what you do in that shoe you're going to be good to go and it doesn't pick up any dust and then, it right? picks up no dust no it like picks up dust but it still bites yeah it just dust, goes through which is weird um, but anyways all right last but not least is adidas harden volume 3 you guys already know uh, translucent and solid is has been good for both of us. I mean, I have the I have two colorways of the Harden Volume Three, and they're both solid. Um, and yours is translucent, yeah. And they're that one's solid too. I right? know yeah. it's good. I mean, solid is yeah. good. But anyways, um, yeah, amazing bite, minimal dust pickup. Durability seems okay. I mean, the, like the rubber is very soft, but which is I don't weird know. because it's it's like this traction that Adidas is using a lot. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't work in the other shoes. Maybe but the, in the hardens, it's good. Maybe the rubber compound is a little it bit. It must be. I don't know what it is. But anyways, that's our list for top tractions. I wish the list was a little bit shorter, but I mean, I, it's good to have a long list. Yeah. You know, to tell you guys, there's a lot of good shoes with good traction. Uh, anyways, if you guys want to copy any of these, we'll leave links below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next. Later. Peace.